Hey everybody, it's Rick. Welcome back to the channel. From time to time I do product reviews and sometimes some DIY stuff. You're in luck. Finally, we're going to do a product review plus an easy DIY project. This should be able to be a project that anyone can do, no matter what your gender, race, whatever. You're going to be able to handle this. We just moved into this uh, farmhouse and uh, I know it's been a while since I've done some DIY projects. Uh, I've been under weather a little bit and haven't felt myself. so. I needed something to uh, kind of get me out of a little bit of a funk and uh, this is probably going to do it. I had this pad board, the modern farmhouse, and if you haven't seen some of the stuff we've done so far in this house, I'll put a link up here and a card and you can check it out. So this is going to be a uh, fire pit, obviously, it's the heavy duty fire pit ring. This is a uh, Lowe's um, setup. Now you can buy the kit itself and it comes with all the blocks and everything. But I've got something else in mind that I'm going to do on my own. And I thought that uh, I wanted to do something a little different than what I've seen in the past. And once this is completed, you'll have to stay tuned to the channel. So this is just the ring itself. It's the ring kit. It has uh, just the metal ring. It says you're going to need a shovel, tamper, caulk gun, household level, three bags of gravel rock, two bags of leveling sand, wall blocks, two tubes of concrete adhesive. Mine is not going to be a thick fire pit. I'm going to do it loose. It'll be heavy enough. But if I want to tear it down, clean it up, clean up the concrete, if it creates a stain, uh, I want to be able to break that down. Or, hey, let's face it, our, our likes and dislikes change as we get older and uh, maybe we don't use it as much and I can get rid of it and, I don't know, my wife can put a, like a table out here and chairs or something or build it as a cabana. Who knows? It's got a nice view of our pond here in the backyard. We're off of the golf course. We're on the eighth tee here in South Carolina. Originally, we're from uh, the Northeast, up in Delaware, and we relocated down here to uh, rest up and, uh, and retire. Uh, you know, I was in construction for 35 years and uh, kind of beat up from it, so now it's time to just uh, let loose and enjoy life. You can buy this as a kit. Now, the kit itself from Lowe's right now, I think it's $250. It'll give you three layers of rock, which I think consists of uh, paver rocks. I think it consists of three a ring, so that would give you 36. Well, I'm gonna build mine higher, so I ordered another 36 on top of that, but I didn't go with the kit. I actually just got the ring, and then I ordered all the rocks separately, and I got 72 of them. And there they are. <laughs> so we're gonna build this up higher. Later on, once it's done, I'll explain what I'm gonna do, but these are the materials you'll probably need. You're going to need a level to be able to level it off, make sure it's uh, sitting straight. Now, you know, they're already pre-made. you got a flat surface on the bottom here. And then they're molded all around the outside. Okay, one thing I do like about this ring, which I've noticed uh, a lot of them aren't built this way, is this is one-piece composite construction. So you don't have to assemble it. It's got... Pretty heavy duty. I'm gonna say it's maybe 3 16 thick and maybe 1 8 on the ring itself. So that's a pretty decent ring. I mean, it's got a little weight to it, not a ton of weight. Gives you a little instruction manual here on how to actually build a fire pit. If you didn't have a pad, how you're gonna cut your ground out. I'm not gonna go into that. There are thousands of fire pit constructed videos on YouTube. I'm just doing this, uh, compilation basically for my channel because I haven't done anything in a while and I felt bad and it had to be done anyway so that's one thing I like about it um, it's probably gonna come up a lot of people are gonna ask me if this can be smokeless well it's not right now we're gonna burn it we're gonna see how it runs and if um, I don't like it and it really gets smoky then we will probably maybe turn it into a smokeless pit by drilling some holes in it and getting some vent holes in there but for right now I don't think so so there's the ring <laughs> that's pretty good so then you're gonna need they say it's flower rock, which is basically lava rock. I got two bags of that. We're going to put that on the bottom. That way we don't uh, discolor that um, concrete surface uh, with the heat. I'm hoping that's going to happen because you don't want to crack your concrete and pull the moisture out of it. And then you got a whole other thing to deal with later on. Like I said, this is 72 blocks. Now, full disclosure, I have bought all this stuff ourselves. Um, you know, we're not sponsored by Lowe's or anything like that or affiliate like Amazon and eBay so we bought all this um, because of COVID and because I and because of the lack of transportation I don't have a truck anymore so I had to order this all in so I got hit with the shipping 
Um, but in the long run, it was actually, like I said, cheaper than buying the actual kit, and it was only three layers tall to get these. These are $2.58 a piece, I think, $2.58 a piece here in the States. Bags of this were like $7. So the whole thing, if you did just a regular kit by itself, it's like 250, and then your shipping and your taxes for your state, if you have taxes. Yeah, we have taxes here now. Didn't in Delaware, but we do now. And this whole thing came shipped, I believe, uh, with a 10% coupon I had uh, for moving in, uh, around $400, I think, right in. And I just had the guy drop it off, so I didn't have to break my back to try to get it back here, which was nice. So I'm trying to keep this video as short as possible. Man, I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing because I talk. So first thing first, what we're going to do is we have a square pad out here. And I've got to try to find the center of that pad. Now, there's an easy way of doing that. I mean, you can take all kinds of measurements until the cows come home and get yourself confused. The easiest way to do is go corner to corner and draw a line right in the center. The width of your, your ring there. A little bit wider with the either chalk soapstone. So it's going to come off the pad. Or maybe like a lumber marker or something that's just going to be up something that's going to be removable or just a pencil so we'll do that we'll draw center to center there and we'll find our center here and we'll put the ring in there and we'll start building out okay so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put some stakes in the corners there like i talked about so you can get your four corners set up they can be metal they can be wood whatever just something that's going to be able to hold that line nice and tight then we're going to string our line all the way across from point to point that's going to give us our intersecting center of course, like everything that was in my trade, extension cords, welding leads, hoses, everything gets all jumbled up, especially when you throw a move in there. So we'll come back after I get that unraveled. All right, so there you go. You see the string all stretched out there. I'm gonna have to move that massive pile out of the way so I can get my other intersecting line. It's gonna come right through here. All right, hopefully you can see that. That's my other intersecting line. You can use a straight edge or your four foot level and lay it against that rope so it doesn't move on you and that's creating your center okay so if i didn't say anything this is a, a bond ring like james bond b-o-n-d uh, the powder coating looks nice the weld look nice on it i'm actually impressed with it. i've already told you the steel is nice so you're going to want the outside diameter right here because that's the way your blocks are going to run up against there and that's coming to 30 inches that's going to give you 15 inches from the center out of your cross hatch there and that's going to give you the measurement on this you can drop it right in there with little hash marks and you're ready to start building out Okay, so now I placed the ring right there on our center, according to our hash marks that run around it. And now we're going to start layering in the uh, blocks. Now, they're angled, so the reason why they're cut on an angle like that is to go around the circle. You want your flat spot, you know, laying on the ground. You lay it right up against the ring. Now, this is going to establish, and you might want to put a little gap in there, you know, so in case things move a little bit. Not much. You can always cheat it back with a hammer. Now these don't weigh too much, believe me, because I wouldn't be able to lift them these days. You're just going to place them right around the circle, button them right up against each other. Once you lock these in, it's not going to move. Like I said, there's your flat. And you're going to push it just up against the ring slightly. Take another block. Maybe five pounds a piece. Take your time and start working your way around. If you're real particular and you want certain ones on the bottom, you can go through them if you want. Right now, mine's not going to be locked in permanently. I can move it around. I may be able to change it. I might do the smokeless pit later on. I'm not sure. Figure it out as we go. But you want that ring to lay right on that rock once you get up higher. But right now, all we're doing is we're just establishing the center of our ring going right around the circle. So I don't want to bore you with building the whole thing. It'll take too much film, but you get the idea. So with the uh, God-given talent that God has given me with my major mathematical ability, this should slide right in. Look at that. No, I'm just kidding. I actually looked at the picture, and it looked like to me that there were 12 on each layer. And like I said, I bought 72, so I'm going to have six layers on this fire pit. Just go around and just kind of tap them in. Make sure it looks aesthetically pleasing to you on the outside, because that's going to lock that ring. Now we're going to pull the ring out of there, and we're going to start that next layer. Now this ring doesn't weigh a lot. I'm going to say maybe 30 pounds. So we're going to go with that next layer now. I'm going to follow that same pattern that you were doing with the edge on the inside narrower here <laughs> and you're going to split that gap on those rocks 
and you're gonna lay it like that so that that center is gonna be right there and when we get done hopefully our ring is gonna be the same and I would drop your metal ring in every time you do a layer just to make sure okay this completed my third layer and you like I said you're gonna keep double checking your <sighs> sure there's not a lot of play in there there you go. Now that would be the original kit for Lowe's, $250. But if you follow my channel, I do a lot of things out of the box, over the top sometimes. We're going three more higher. And you can tell that's firming up nice. Like I said, no adhesive, just gonna leave it like that. Okay, so that's it. It turned into more of a wishing well. You can go ahead and throw your money in there and uh, wish for whatever it is you want in life. I think it may have come up a little bit high. We're going to have to see. Um, I'm going to burn it and see if it's going to burn. I don't know the theory with fire pits. Um, you know, if there's a certain height they should be. Like I said, the manufacturer was right here. And I went another three because, like I said, I have another design for this. It's going to be multifunctional so that we can use this year round. We are in the south in South Carolina. And um, I don't want to make this one dimensional where we use this area just for one thing. Um, so I wanted to make this multi use. So here's the flower rock. And we'll go ahead and we'll uh, open this up. Flower rock meaning lava rock. And lava rock can handle heat, obviously, because it came from the volcano. So we just pour it in, and that'll give us a layer. I'm hoping that's going to work. If it's not, I may have to go get a couple more bags. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to bring you over here. I just spread the uh, flower rock, they call it, which is actually just lava rock, like I said. And it filled out nicely. Might need another bag. We'll have to see how it goes. Just trying to protect that concrete surface. And hopefully the, and hopefully the lava rock will handle that heat. So that's it. Hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. That subscribe button's been running the whole entire time down there in the bottom right hand corner. Do me a favor, go ahead and click that. And then there's a bell icon. Smash that bell icon on the YouTube channel. It'll notify you immediately of any videos we have coming up next. Please share with your family and friends. <laughs> Pardon the appearance. Uh, I went through wardrobe changes and the uh, weather changed on me like in a matter of an hour. Here. It's supposed to be no uh, overcast or any rain. Well, you know that is in South Carolina. But I hope everybody's happy, healthy, and you're doing well. And go Eagles. I bleed green. I always will bleed green no matter where I am. Take care.